Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot and I'm armed with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. Welcome back to the district of West Lindsay. Okay, now what I've got for you today is perhaps one of the smallest parishes that West Lindsay has. And what you're looking at here may seem just like a random clump of trees and a rusty old gate that doesn't seem to be anything at all but you know me I wouldn't have stopped here if there wasn't something to talk about and there certainly is and it's to do not just with that but also with this road as well because this is the site of a former station and this was Kingthorpe railway station and Kingthorpe is a very tiny hamlet that belongs to the parish of Apley. is a tiny hamlet, technically a village, situated one mile west from the hamlet of Kingthorpe and the site of Kingthorpe Railway Station. Kingthorpe Railway Station is where we begin here. It was on a line that opened in 1876 and closed in 1956. There's no remaining evidence of the station other than this clump of trees which stand where the line used to run. It was situated just 300 yards east from the hamlet of Kingthorpe. The line was a branch line of the Louth and Lincoln Railway, which ran from Bardney to Louth in stages. The branch was mostly single track and the station had only one platform. There was a signal box located here too to control the block and the small goods yard. The yard had only one siding serving a cattle dog. The track was lifted in 1961 and the station building was demolished. No trace remains and the bridge carrying the B1202 here was demolished and the road was realigned sometime between 2010 and 2019. Kingthorpe itself is one of five settlements represented in the Bardney Group Parish Council. The hamlet contains two Grade II listed late 18th century brick farmhouses. These are Kingthorpe Farmhouse and Manor Farmhouse. In the Doomsday Book, Kingthorpe is written as Chinethorpe in the Rago 100 of the South Riding of Lindsay, much like neighbouring Stainfield. According to 19th and 20th century trade directories, Kingthorpe was a centre for growing wheat, barley and oats. There were two farmers in 1855, with Kingthorpe described as just a farm. The lord of the manor and principal landowner was one T.T. Drake, son of the late Thomas Tyrrett Drake, who was a member of parliament. So as, as far as Kingthorpe goes, that's it. <laughs> there isn't much more to it than what I've shown you. That is it, it's basically just this clump of houses, this wood that's next to it, and uh, the former railway station. That's pretty much it. So let's head down into Apley, and I'm gonna warn you, it's not really much more than this. Now to Apley, and there's not much here. However, it does have a church. The village should not be confused with another Apley located in Shropshire, close to Telford. Apley Church is dedicated to St Andrew and is a delightful small brick building erected in 1871 at a cost of £284. It was built to conduct burial services within the graveyard of the former and by then non-existing medieval church of St Andrews, which before 1816 had decayed and been reduced to its foundations. In the 19th century, the churchyard also served the parish of Stainfield. Average house price time. Out here in Apley, you can expect to pay around £287,000 for one of the very few properties here. 
It has pretty much no amenities aptly, but there is a parish notice board, which I did the honours for as usual. There's also a post box. Like neighbouring Stainfield though, there's no post office. Now, Appley is quite scattered. Obviously, I've brought you to the church, which is in the centre of the village, effectively, if you can call it a village. Um, now, there is another part of Appley called Low Appley. Now, what I'm going to do with that, it's a dead end. I'm going to put the camera on the dashboard and drive down to it, although I'll probably film uh, coming on the way back because there are a few other uh, houses and things that way behind my car that I haven't caught yet. And uh, obviously I will catch them at the same time. But to be honest with you, that's it. <laughs> Apart from those two areas, which the camera is about to capture, Apley is not much more than what I've shown you. Very small, very small. There is a wood as well. There's a, a, another lime wood and I'll catch that as well as I head back this way. But for now, let's go down to Low Apley and uh, see what's down there. I must first correct myself before I go any further. Low Apley is not a dead end. The street, the road that I'm on currently, uh, if you go the other way, leads back into Stainfield. So let's have a look at Low Apley and drive back through Apley Village towards the Limewood. Apley's professions and trades listed in 1872 included a parish clerk, a boot and shoemaker, six farmers, two of whom were at Kingthorpe, and two carriers, one of whom was a shopkeeper. This implies that Apley not only was at one time bigger than it is now, but it also had access to a shop. In fact, Apley is recorded in White's directory as a village and parish with a population of 231 and a land area of 6.7 square kilometres. These days, Apley's area covers almost the exact same amount of land, but the population is much smaller than 231, and it's recorded with neighbouring Stainfield. College and Thistle Store Woods now, another of the Lincolnshire Lime Woods. The paths here crisscross through the woodland with a mixture of wide grassy and woodland paths. Some of the main woodland paths are pushchair friendly, though more grassy areas would require an all-terrain buggy. Here's another Lime Woods fact for you. The Lincolnshire Lime Woods is Britain's greatest concentration of woods, located as it is in a 60 square mile area of rural Lincolnshire. It's also worth noting that Apley has a small stream known as Apley Beck, which marks the course of a 12th century monastic canal once linking Bullington Priory, which we'll talk about in that episode, to Barlingzo, the watercourse we saw back in Stainfield. Well guys, that's it for the parish of Apley. Uh, there's no picture of it today because there's nothing really else to show you. I've covered virtually every uh, last little bit of Apley there is to cover, I'm afraid. So there's no picture of it. Uh, so yeah, there we go. That's another one down in West Lindsay. A very easy one, a very short one for me today. And now I'm off to my next one, which means getting back on the B1202 towards Ragby. But it's not Ragby that I'm going to. It's another very small one, very, very small. And in fact, it might even be smaller than Apley, possibly. We'll see. Anyway, it's that way. So uh, that's where I'm going next, and you'll see that next week. For now, this has been the Parish of Apley, and I've been Andy, otherwise known as the Village Idiot, and I'm out.